The number of people ripped off by a national roofing company continues to grow in the Kansas City area. Call for Action's Keith King continues to follow. He's here with the latest, Keith. Yeah, good evening, Mark and Krista. This week, Call for Action heard from another victim of American Shingle, and Blue Springs Police Department heard from at least eight new people, all claiming to have been ripped off by this same company that took their money and didn't do the work. Couldn't we? Talk to them, you know, we couldn't see anything. Doris O'Brien is not happy about her roof. That's why she called Call for Action. I really feel like that something's got to be done. Uh, seems like nobody takes any responsibility for anything anymore. This spring, a representative of American Shingle came to her home saying she needed a new roof. Doris couldn't see a problem. Her insurance company sent out a representative to inspect the roof and agreed it was damaged. That person then cut Doris a check. She then paid American Shingle. And guess what? Months later, still no roof and the money has long been spent. I have no recourse. Uh, we're on fixed income, so looks like we're just stuck. Doris is the latest to contact Call for Action about American Shingle. We got a dozen calls from others who paid the company to replace their roof. Now the company has gone belly up, sending letters to clients saying they will try to refund their money. They got the check in May. They cashed the check in June, and we haven't really heard anything from them since. I feel terrible. <laughs> because I'm probably going to have to pay for my roof now. The victims and amounts of losses are growing. Blue Springs police estimate $32,000 in losses to people in that city alone. Attorneys general in both Kansas and Missouri are investigating. I would like to have a refund so I can get my entire roof done. Consumers like Doris are also urged to contact their local attorney's general office to file a complaint. So, big question I'm sure you're asking yourself, what can you do to protect yourself? Number one, get a written contract and never pay more than one-third up front. I put a lot of these tips on our website, NBCActionNews.com. Just click on the Call for Action link. And if you have been ripped off by a company, we want to hear from you. Our Call for Action volunteers will be here Monday night from 4.30 to 7, taking your important phone calls. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.